All right, so morning, guys and gals. <laughs> Slade with you today, so I'm in Owens, as you can see. And, uh, man, the store is starting to get, get super-duper full. Let me just turn y'all around here. It is just getting, man, I got, I got tons of archery gear in. If you guys can see all this here, targets, targets, targets. You've seen this on some of my other videos, but all my sights and rest and quivers and cameras and, I mean, the store is just getting so full. Hey, something I hadn't showed y'all. So this is some new clothing by Paramount. So you guys at Hunt will remember. Y'all remember the old uh, Cabela's wool type stuff? Well, Paramount has this new Mossy Oak branded wool i mean that's man that's i got the pants i got the vest i got the hooded jacket love it i got tons of this this new paramount that's the like the two and one three and one parker waterproof uh bow hunting i mean super quiet love these pants let me look quiet 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 pants so Looking forward to seeing all of this stuff. And hey, look, it is very affordable right there. $69. That's a great bow hunting top right there. So y'all make sure y'all come by, check this stuff out. Send me a message. I can even ship you some of it. But let's look and see what I got going on in the bow shop today. So I have lots of strings and cables that have came in. That's a Hoyt Defiant. I'm going to work on that. Looks like a Creed. He's getting strings, cables therein, a new sight, a new quiver, strings and cables there on a uh, Triax, string and cables here. This is for, what is this? That's for a Halon. So, man, I got, I got lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, looks like somebody wanting to wanting to uh, to buy that bow there. Maybe I'm not exactly sure. So all right, well we fixing to get ready. We are gonna get some stuff uh, some stuff swapped out here and some work done. Here's a couple other bows that come in over the weekend. I got to order strings and cables for that bow tech. Got to put some mods on this and. We don't even want to talk about what happened right here. But anyway, got it going on. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to work on some bows. Also, I will try to put y'all maybe, I don't know, on these strings and cable changes, sometimes it's, it's kind of hard to, to uh, video, but I'll see if I can figure out a way to set y'all up where you can kind of come along whenever I'm uh, whenever I'm working on this stuff. So y'all uh, y'all stay tuned. All right, so... I am fishing a jump on. This is a regular Creed. I thought it was a Creed XL. So Matthews had had two of these bows. One one was the Creed, which is this bow here. I think it was 30 inches axle to axle, maybe. It may have been 32, and then they had the Creed XS that was two inches shorter. So this guy, I'm gonna take, if you look, so he's getting a new Matthews quiver. And y'all may have possibly never never seen that. So on this bow, the whole quiver bracket mounts a little bit different. I will uh, I will show you how that works. You see that little set screw right there. So he's gonna get a five era Matthews quiver. He's gonna get the CBE CBE Tactic Micro, and then I'm gonna put his strings and and uh, cables on here. This was an old uh, oh, I can't even think of the name of this site. It was made by IQ. And if you look, I had lots of trouble with them, just to be honest, and I think they've discontinued them since. They put the, put this range finder on the outside of it here. It's supposed to have a pressure switch. Obviously, he has lost his cord and pressure switch. So anyway, did not like that side. It was, just to be honest, my opinion, they were, they were just garbage. So I'm fixing to take this side off, take this quiver bracket off, I'm gonna put him his new sight and quiver on it, so get that knocked out.
All right, so I got the new quiver on it, as y'all see here. And I got this, and I love these CBE sights. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over this sight here in a minute. But Matthews on these, uh, on, on, on this bow, I think it was this bow and the helium, you had to use a little bit different, different uh, bracket to mount it. But what I wanna show y'all, so he's getting, uh, he's getting string and cables also. So people always ask me, hey, when do I need to change my string and cable? Well, obviously, when your string starts looking like that, it is it is past time. And I've had several comments. Guys want to know, hey, how often should I change my string and cables? I tell guys every two years. Some guys say every three years. But if it were me, I would definitely change them every two years. And this one has, it has just about had it. And then right here, man, I don't know. Golly, if you go to a bow shop and a bow shop does this right here, when they so this is the this is the cable that hooks up to his qad rest obviously it serves in the down cable but man i don't know what this cat right here was thinking because that i mean not only i mean it works but look at it i mean it just looks really really bad so all right, I'm gonna get these string and cables changed out and I'll show you the way it's supposed to be put on this boat. I also wanna show y'all a no-no too. It's gonna take me forever to get all this cut off of here because I wanna save as much of this cable as I can. But I mean, not only did they do all this with a serving, they put glue on it. I guess, I mean, I see it all the time. I'm like, what in the world, guys? Why are we why are we as a bow shop or even an archery guy why are we putting glue all over our serving so anyway pretty crappy let me let me see if i can uh see if i can get it cut off of here All right, so obviously when I took the old strings and cables off, they were they were not Matthew strings and cables. So I ordered for this guy Matthew strings and cables. And look, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you down here. So this is your down cable, okay? This is your split bus comes down. It's the cable that moves down when you draw this bow. If you can see it moving down there, okay? Matthews comes down with this serving in a in the right spot where I can put this cable through, okay? Once I draw this bow, well, once I get the loop and stuff tied on here, and once I once I tune this bow, then I'll show you, y'all have seen it, I'll, I'll burn me a little in at the correct place, and then that cable cannot go up, okay? Because all this serving won't let that cable come up. So, like I said, the, the, the string that was on it, the serving was way up here, so the guy moved way down here and then tied, 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 tied. All I'll have to do is once I get this in the correct place and burn it, I'll put me a little bit of serving right here, right, I mean, just right behind it, four or five little small wraps, and I'll show you that. But it's, you know, I don't even know that that's, that's necessarily needed because it's, it's always pulling up, okay, always. It can't go down, so let me, uh, let me get a loop tied on here. By the way, I think this orange looks absolutely awesome on here. So let me get a let me get it fixed up, and I'll show you how I finish this part. All right, so I got his his loop tied in here, and then I got it uh I got it tuned up. I had measured prior to his peat was exactly six inches from the middle of his from the middle of his loop. I got that going. So I left this uh this cord i put it in the down cable and what i do is i go ahead and raise this up and i pull that cord tight and as i draw this bow and shoot it a few times and it it draws this cord and it stops it in the right place so what i do i take my thumbnail obviously if i could cut it perfect it would be about right here but i'll move till about right there that that allows me some room to cut and some room to burn so I'll pull that back to right there and I'll cut it off with my 
with, with my knife here and then I'll show you what I do. All right, so it's so it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to video there without anybody here videoing it. So if you'll see, I take my thumb, I move it till about right there. I go ahead and pull that out and I go right here to my thumb and then I'll cut that off right there. I'll fan it out here. I mean, it'll be spot on every single time. Then once I burn it here, flatten it out there, let it cool just a second. Then I'll pull it to here. And then I got a piece of serving. And this is not necessarily a must, but I do it. I'll take this serving and I'll just run me about three or four half hitches right here. I'll pull it right up there tight next to it there. That's one. And this will just guarantee that, you know, if you get it in a bind or something like that, that it don't, that it don't pull out. But this bow, it's, that's, you know, the, the stringing cables are always tight. So there's really no reason for it to ever get out of there. Burn that there. Now, don't that look a whole lot better than the way it was a while ago? That's it right there. All right, so we got this dude all done. Man, it looks so much better. I got the new sight. I love this new micro just cbe but i think the whole bow it just looks so much better i don't know some guys just shouldn't be shouldn't be working on and setting up bows but uh <laughs> that's just that's just that's just my opinion we all know how opinions are but looks good i got his peep in all served up so now i think see it's kind of like any mini money mo any mini money mo i'm gonna i'm gonna put some strings and cables on this new uh on this new triax right here so i'm kind of looking forward to that probably one of my favorite bows matthews have ever, has ever made right there is that uh that uh triax all right so here's the matthews triax i got a guy he's actually going on his first bow hunt for elk so uh i think this bow triax is what some of you guys may may correct me uh let's see we got the triax vertex vxr v3 and v3x i think this bow is five years old it's got the same string and cables that was on it whenever he got it he actually bought this from me where i where i used to work really really good customer if you look at the strings there i mean they're not in terrible shape so what happens to even though you can't see the wear then you can kind of see it here strings get they get really thin okay if you if you will uh down here this one has gotten really thin i don't i don't know if you can really tell that but but here too he's got a normally right here this is where that string falls if they shoot a lot they got a jacket on kind of where it's been where it's been slapping the jacket or something like that so it is it is definitely ready i would i would not go off on a elk hunt uh with the bow that had strings and cables on it like this. Although, I mean, it would probably be fine, but it's definitely time. So let's uh, let's get these knocked out on this bow. I'll kind of take y'all along with me while I, as I, as I do it here. All right, so I called this guy. He, he's gonna be on the way so we can kind of finish. So I, I, I measured his peep. It was exactly five inches from center of his loop to the center of his peep. I'm also gonna try to hang on to these strings for him. So I just cut the serving. That, that, that's actually serving that back when he bought this from me that, that, I, that I served the peep in there with. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him hang on to these just so he can take them with him on his, on his trip. I normally like to take a, take a you know, at, at least a string, maybe not always cables, but at least a string, just in case you get up there and have a little accident. You're gonna have to go to a bow shop and bar a press. Obviously they may not have a, a, a string and a set of cables. So if you have it with you, they can always, uh, 
I can always slap it on there for you. So let me get these swapped out real quick. I mean, don't that look a lot better? Golly, that's a good looking set of strings and cables. So I'm fixing to get over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. You see, it's kind of dirty right in there, especially around these cams and axles. If you look in there, especially right in there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in there and clean it up some. And then I think he's on the way. So we're gonna, we're gonna shoot this thing, and it'll be, it'll be ready to go. All right. So I got Hunter, and we're setting his peep up, just making sure we got it where it, where it needs to be. We had to move it just a little bit. Looking right through the middle of it. One thing Hunter does, as soon as it touches, as soon as it gets there, it's gone, ain't it? You gotta feel good, man. Yeah. It feels good, let it eat. All right, shoot it again. Aim at a uh, center of one of those dots. See if it's, right. see if it's moved your, uh, see if it's moved your point of contact any. I tried to tie that loop. I measured your loop too. I tried to get it right back because I didn't want you to have to change sight tapes, but yeah, I see you it ain't. It feels good. You don't you don't have any sight tapes on there, so rotation's good. Let's see where that's at. That's it, ain't it? Maybe a hair left. Just barely. Alright guys, so I got all those bows done and I'll turn y'all around here. One, two, three more in a day. I think this is uh I'm not sure what that is. And both of these, this is a diamond. Both of those are diamonds. So I ordered those string and cables for those bows today. So normally it takes about a week turn around. But anyway, hope y'all like this video. Make sure you like, subscribe. God bless, Jesus saves. We'll see y'all tomorrow in another video. Follow the Fanchers.